Okay, welcome again sa Static or Visit Bodies. Okay, recap sa review uh, sa napag-aralan natin previously. Ang napag-aralan natin is summation of forces. Uh, forces x equal to 0, forces y should be equal to 0, so meaning equilibrium of force. If you notice that all forces na discuss natin, lahat ng force na yan is only moving on a straight line. Okay, either x or y. So, if the, the force is moving x, it's going to the left or going to the right. Straight line siya. Ganun din sa uh, summation of forces y, it's either going up or down or somewhere in the x and y axis. Still a straight line. Okay, so ngayon, ang pag-uusapan natin is moment. Ibig sabihin, it's no longer going on a straight line but nagro-rotate siya on a given specific center. Okay? So, ang tawag doon, moment. So, ano yun? So, take a look at this figure. No? So, moment of a fourth. Uh, scalar muna tayo. So, mas madali kasi ang scalar sa 2D kaysa sa vector. Okay. So, figure A, kung titignan mo, itong torque wrench na to, nag-apply ako ng force o nag-apply ng force itong picture using this hand. No? So, Tinutulak niya, imbis na dediretso yan, iikot yan kasi may lever arm. So ngayon, ang tendency ng force, it's not going on a straight line, but it will rotate. And the rotation, pag titingin ka sa top, will be counterclockwise. So the rotation will be counterclockwise. So ano ibig sabihin ngayon ng moment of a force? That will be just the force times this distance. But it's specific, ha? the distance should be perpendicular. So, perpendicular distance. So, force times the perpendicular distance. It is from the axis at point O, okay, to the line of action of the force, okay? Ito, basahin natin dito. So, D, the distance, is the moment arm or perpendicular distance from the axis at point O, okay, to the line of action of the force. Okay, the unit usually is newton meter or pounds foot. Okay, so ngayon, ito na yan ha, tatandaan nyo, kung ito yung force, ang hahanapin mo is perpendicular distance. So from the axis, okay, to the line of force, okay, perpendicular. Paano kung ganito? Ito naman, punta tayo ngayon dito sa B. So kung itong force na to is not perpendicular to this lever arm, no, yung handle nung torque wrench. Okay? So, dapat perpendicular. Hindi mo pwedeng kunin itong distance na to. Again, uh, napaka clear, no? Dapat, ang kukunin mo is perpendicular distance. Yung concept is force times perpendicular distance. O, oh, ulit-ulit ako. Force times perpendicular distance. So, yung perpendicular distance niya dun sa axis would be this one. So, instead na d, ang distance is d times sine theta. Okay? Where theta is this one. Okay? So, in, ano, ah, remember, it's just perpendicular distance. I remember one of my students, three years ago, uh, tago natin sa pangalang Desabile. Okay? Hindi niya nakakalimutan sabihin palagi yung perpendicular distance kapag nag, uh, nag-share siya ng moment niya, no? Doon sa topic sa moment. So, dala-dala niya hanggang ngayon. Uh, ano na siya? Graduate na ng, ano, ng university, sa University of the East. Okay? So, yun. Tandaan nyo, force times perpendicular distance. Huwag nyo lang sabihin force times distance. It should be force times perpendicular distance. So, what if ito na, condition, itong next letter C. What if uh, the person is just pulling, okay? Not rotating the torque wrench or the wrench. Okay? So, hinahatak lang niya. So, wala siyang moment. Kasi hindi siya umiikot eh. No? So, ang concept dito, if the force doesn't have any perpendicular distance, I mean, doesn't have perpendicular any distance at all. Tignan niyo kasi, this, is, this force is passing through the axis of rotation. So, wala siyang rotation eh. It passes through, this force passes through the axis. Then, wala siyang perpendicular distance, zero perpendicular distance, or zero distance, then there would be no moment. Moment is equal to zero. 
kahit in, di ba inahatak niya, kahit inutulak niya ngayon, okay, if the force passes through the axis, either in tension or in compression, then wala siyang moment. Okay, there are only two concepts, tandaan nyo, that moment is equal to force times its perpendicular distance, no? meaning from the axis at the point given to the line of action of the force. Okay, so this one, if the force passes through uh, the line of axis or the, the axis of a point, then the moment is equal to zero. Malina tayo dyan? Isang force lang yan. Paano kung maraming forces? Okay. So, in this case, tinan nyo muna dito, no? Okay. Uh, this is called the right hand rule. Okay. So, sa US kasi, pag right hand rule, uh, kung titignan nyo yung ikot nung daliri niya, ayan, dito, no? So, pag iniikot niya yung daliri niya, ang rotation niya, tignan nyo dito, will be counterclockwise. Okay. Uh, US style to eh. So, pag ganyan, counterclockwise sa kanila, positive. Pero tayo ang gagawin natin, counterclockwise, negative. Okay? Just, I'm just showing you uh, yung right hand rule kasi pagdating natin sa 3D, magagamit natin yan. Okay? Tagal pa yun. So, dito tayo. Paano kung more than one force? So, ganun pa rin. Ito yung muna, no? force 1 muna. Force Ito yung perpendicular distance 1. So, ang moment is equal to moment 1 is force times distance 1. Pero, take a look. The rotation of this force from this point O here, it is rotating counterclockwise. So, negative yan. How about force 2? Force 2 is rotating clockwise. So, it's positive. So, force 2 times the perpendicular distance 2 would be equal to moment 2, then that would be positive. Ganun din dito sa F sub 3. Rotation is counterclockwise or negative. So, parang ganito. The summation would be F1, negative F1 times T1 plus positive F2 times D2 plus negative F3 T3. Yan ang summation. Then that will be your uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, that would be your summation of force. Okay? So, I guess, uh, hanggang dito lang muna tayo. Sample problem ka agad tayo. Okay, I have pre uh, prepared how many sample? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 sample, no? Basic muna tayo. Sa moment. Madali lang to. Okay, let's begin with this one. Uh, I'll call this number one or letter A. So letter A, kukunin natin yung moment at point O, no? Lahat point O. Okay, so ano yung moment of a force using 100? So moment at point O is equal to force. Ano yung force? 100 meters. Any perpendicular distance? Again, this should be perpendicular distance. So, ito yung force. So, ito yung perpendicular distance. So, ilan yan? 2. Okay? So, times 2 meters. Ano rotation? Tignan yung ikot niya is pag ano. Ano yung rotation yan? Clockwise or counterclockwise? Clockwise. So, that is positive. Okay? Positive. So, ang sagot is 200 newton meter. Okay? So, malinaw? Madali lang, no? It's force times the perpendicular distance. How about this one? B. Paano yan? Aha. Uh -huh. Ano uli yung force? Moment at point O. Moment at point O. Clockwise pala lalagay ko. It's positive. Okay? So, ano ikot niya? Paano ikot niya dito papunta ron sa O? So, it's still ano? Clockwise. So, that will be positive. Okay? Positive. Ano yung force? 50 Newton. Tutin ko lang. Pangit. Ah. Uh, 15 newton. Ano lever arm? 
So, kung ito yung force, ito yung force, yan yung direction ng force, at yung perpendicular distance. So, from axis to the force, ilan? Point, ayan ang given. 75. So, this is point. 75 meters. Sa ngayon, madali lang yan, ha? Tandaan nyo lang yung concept. Binibigyan ko lang kayo ng concept. Yung perpendicular distance. So, this is 37 point. 5 newton meter. Okay? Malinaw? Ito yung force. Ito yung perpendicular distance. How about this one? Letter C. So, ano naman to? C. So, letter C. Dito uli yung rotation. Ito uli yung force. Ilan yung perpendicular distance. So, this one, no? Diba? Hindi ko makita. Ayan ang force. So, ang moment, 0.0, clockwise. Rotation positive. Ang force is 40 pounds naman. Given. Ano lever arm? Ito. Kasi ito yung force. Ito yung perpendicular distance. So, ang perpendicular distance will be 4 feet plus, hindi ko na mabasa, 2 cosine 30 degrees. So, ilan yan? 40. Ano rotation? Clockwise. So, positive 40 times 4 plus so, cos and 30. 200. 29.28. A unit is pound. E. Okay? D. Again, dito siya mag-rotate. Dito siya mag-rotate. O ngayon, ito yung iikot. Iikot siya doon. Ano rotation? Counterclockwise. So, negative. So, moment at O, clockwise rotation. So, negative. Ano yung force? Turahin ko lang. Makita eh. Uh, 7 kN. So, 7 kN. Ano lever arm? Ano yung perpendicular distance niya? Here. Yan ang lever arm, perpendicular. So, 4 minus 1 will be 3, 3 meters. Ayaw na palit ha. Okay, so that will be negative 21 kN meter. Okay, by the way nga pala. Okay. Andaan nyo, every time na you write Newton, it should be capital Okay? Hindi pwedeng, hindi pwedeng ganito, hindi pwedeng, ang capital yung K, small yung N. Okay? Mas maganda small e, K, N. Kasi Newton, with respect to the person, no, si Sir Isaac Newton, apelido kasi yan eh. So, kailangan capital. Ganon din kay Pascal. Hindi pwedeng ganyan. Okay? Kasi si Pascal, ano ang pangalan ni Pascal, nakalimutan ko na. So, dapat P, capital P, K. So, kung kilo pascal, ganyan, no? Pwedeng capital K, small letter K, pero importante, dapat yung, yung pascal na P, tsaka newton na N, should all, always be capital. Kasi with respect to... Okay. Now, one of the uh, um, um, magandang concept about moment is the principle of moment or sometimes called Varignon's Theorem. Okay, mali pala yung spelling dito, no? Ba... Reynolds Theorem. Okay? Now, di ba moment is equal to force times perpendicular distance? In this case, itong problem, ito, natinay natin itong figure na to. Kung ito yung force, ito yung kanyang perpendicular distance. Minsan, mahirap kunin yung problema is mahirap kunin yung perpendicular distance. Mas madali kung 
ang alam natin distance is yung mismong uh, x-axis, x-coordinate, tsaka y-coordinate. So, yung unang topic natin, no, kung titignan natin to, take a look here, yung force na to, meron siyang component na x, f, x component, tsaka y component. Okay? So, mas madali to kasi, if this is the, kunin mo yung direct na component sa x, at makukuha mo yung distance na y, at yung component ng y dito sa force na to at uh, distance x, mas madali. Meaning to say, if this is the equation force times distance, this is also equal uh, na force x times distance y, which will give you a positive rotation kasi clockwise, pero magiging minus force y times distance x kasi yung force y ngayon, will give you a counterclockwise direction. So, it will be negative. Okay? Mas mahaba siya, pero mas madali kasi, yung distance ng perpend perpendicular distance ng force na yan, kailang pang competent. Aalam mo pa kung anong degree. Well, in this case, hindi na. Kunin mo lang yung component x, force x, distance y, component y, distance x. Okay? So, mas madali siya. Relative, mas madali, mas mahaba, pero mas madali compared dito sa getting the perpendicular distance. So, I have a sample problem. Okay. Okay. So, sample problem tayo. Um, I have prepared one, two, three. Okay. Uh, sample problem. Uh, ang tanong is, determine the resultant moment of a force about point O. Pisa na natin, syempre, sa problem 1. Okay? Lakihan lang natin ng konti. Yan. Para mas madaling maintindihan. Okay. So, yung moment, saan tayo magmo-moment? Dito sa point O. Okay? Yan. Okay? And, ang moment, remember that Lahat ng solution natin will be this one. No? So, summation of moment at point O clockwise. Positive. Be equal to uh, the summation. Hindi equal muna to zero. Ah. Summation of force times perpendicular distance. So, malinaw. Okay, ito yung force. Okay. 5 kN. At ito yung kanyang perpendicular distance. Ayan. This one here. Ayan. Nakalagay na. Ayan yung perpendicular distance. Okay. Ang tanong, ilan tong distance na to? Hindi siya given automatic, no? Pero, makukuha kagad natin yan, di ba? Makukuha kagad natin yan. Kasi, uh, eto, kailangan lang natin tong angle na to eh. Tong angle na to. Okay. So, what is this angle? Di ba? Uh, right triangle to, this is 90. This is 75. Later angle is 180 minus 90 minus 75. So, this is 15 degrees. So, pwede na natin kunin yung ano nyan, no? So, solution, the perpendicular distance T here, uh, ito yung hypotenuse 3 meters. So, 3 meters. Sine or cosine? Cosine. Adjacent. Cosine. 15 degrees will give us a value of how much? Computing ko lang ha. 3 cosine 15 is 2.9. Approximately 2.9. 2.90 meters. Okay. So, what is the moment? Tapos na kaagad, no? So, the moment, uh, summation of moment at point O will be equal to force, which is 5 kilo newton. Okay. Uh, ano rotation niya? Itong arrow na to. Papunta dito. So, ang rotation niyan, titignan nyo, yung arrow na yan pag ano. Okay. And the rotation is clockwise. So, therefore, this is positive. And the distance is 2.9 meters. So, the answer is uh, 5 times 2.9 equal to 14.5. So, 
and the unit is in kilonewton meter and dapat may ganito yan clockwise positive okay okay so that is the final answer i will show you more than one way to solve this problem so ito yung parang uh, unang way to solve that problem okay meron pang isa paano okay uh, litan muna natin para okay that is uh, parang case hindi case 1 eh um parang method 1 okay yung na, na tinuro ko pre, uh, kanina yung variance theorem pwede natin siyang etong force na to yung force na yan can be equivalent to a component na fy di ba and this is component f of x yan okay so ngayon ang problema natin uh, oh, problema problema hindi naman actually problema madali lang so what is this distance no from that point here at here yung y so ano yung y na yan at itong x na to uh, makukuha naman natin no kasi ito kunin natin x distance so another solution so there's more than one way to solve this problem so pag kinuha natin x that will be what? Uh, x will be 3 cosine 30 degrees. Yeah? And y will be 3 sine 30 degrees. Okay? So, an ilan yung value na yan? So, 3 cosine 30 2.6 almost equal to 2.6 meters yung isa naman magiging sign magiging 1.5 okay so 1.5 meters okay uh, oh, medyo mababa to no pa paano naman natin kukunin yung x component saka y component okay ang x component niyan uh, kailangan natin ng uh, space. Okay? Hindi, sige, dito na lang. Uh, ang x component ngayon yan, ang f of x is what? Ito yung f of x. Yan, ito. This one. Diba ito? So, ang f of x will be 5. Oops, sorry. Will be 5. Ano naman to? Uh, cosine, di ba? Cosine 45 degrees. Ano naman na f of y? 5 sine, parehas lang siya. Kasi 45 degrees. So, 5 cosine 45 is 3.54. So, 3.54 kilonewton. So, the same. 3.54 kilonewton. Okay? So, ngayon, medyo mahaba siya. Ano ngayon yung kanyang uh, final answer? So, summation of moment, dito na lang. Sige, dito dapat. Summation of moment at point O, unahin natin x component. So, yung f of x na yan, ito, itong f of x na yan, magro-rotate siya ng clockwise din. So, parang FY clockwise din. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, positive. Positive. Uh, 3.54 kilonewton. Anong perpendicular distance niya? Ito. So, dapat Y. Yung F, ito, ang perpendicular distance niya is Y. So, 1.5 plus Ano naman ng FY? Ang rotation niya is still positive. So, so lang natin ng konti. Okay, pwede rin naman pala ito. Ngayon itong gawin natin. Na. Copy ko yan. 
kita. Okay. So, plus ilan? Plus f of y. Ani f of y? Ito yung f of y. Okay, sorry. I gusto ko pula para ani f of y? This one. Okay, ang f of y 3.54 3.54 Anong distance na ito? So, ito yung distance naman niya. Yung x na nakuha natin. Ito yung perpendicular distance. So, this one is 2.6. So, times 2.6. Ang dapat sagot niya, parehas. Okay? So, tinan natin. 3.54 times 1.5 plus 3.54 times 2.6 14.51 but magkaiba ay parehas lang 14.51 konti lang diferensya so tama 14.51 kilonewton meter still positive clockwise di ba <clears throat> okay meron pang another technique this there's more than one way really to solve this one. Paano pa yung isa? Uh, anong gagawin natin? Okay. Uh, ganito. Again, that is X and Y component. Okay? So, pwede naman ganito. Uh, kasi ang ginawa natin X and Y kanina, ito yung Y. At ito yung X. ba? Actually, arbitrary yung x and y. Baka hindi nyo alam, no? Baka ala nyo yung x and, y compo, uh, x and y Cartesian is always horizontal and vertical. No. no? Pwede ito yung, ito yung x natin. Yan. At ito yung kanyang y. Ang hirap i-drawing. Teka. So, I need some help. Okay? So, ito yung x. Yan. At ito yung y. Ay, sorry. Straight line nga eh. Kailangan natin para mas maganda. Yan yung y. Okay? So, pwede. Oh, what happened? Kasi undo. Okay? So, ito yung pwede yung y niya. Yan. Yan. Okay, yan. So, ngayon, bakit ko pinakikita yan? Kasi ito, pwede natin, ito yung magiging x component mo. From here, yan yung x component at ito yung magiging y component. Yun. ba? Pwede rin yan. So, ito yung f of x Ito yung f of y. Bakit? Ko, bakit natin pwedeng gawin ganyan? May pagkakaiba ba? O mas madali ba yan? O ano? Trip-trip lang kasi. Hindi. Uh, kasi ganito yan. No? Tignan nyo ha. Itong, itong point na to. Ito. Anong tinuro ko nung nakaraan? Anong tinuro ko nung nakaraan? Marami. Sabihin nyo marami. Oh. Ah. If the force is directly to... Uh, uh, pointing away or towards uh, the rotation ng axis ng point O, then f of x will be zero. Di ba? Kasi kung moment is force, f of x, ano distance niya to point O? Wala siyang perpendicular distance, so zero. So, kaya yan, pwedeng, so hindi pa laging ang x and y Cartesian ano, ha, is horizontal and vertical. So, ito, in this case, no, ito yung x ko ngayon, ito yung y, Hindi naman siya directly horizontal vertical, di ba? So, ngayon, kaya mas madali yan, kasi f of x na will be zero. Yung moment, I mean, yung moment, f of x times zero, kaya zero siya, no? Di ba? So, mas mapadali. Ngayon, ang, ang dapat na lang nating malaman is ilan to. Ilan yan? Ilan yung degrees na yan? 
So, kailangan natin kompeten. So, lakihan natin para mas ma-appreciate. Para makita sa sobrang laki. Hindi na nakita. Ito. Okay. So, ilan? This one is 30 degrees din. ba? Diba? Ano, paano naging 30 yan? Ito, 30 to. ba? Diba? This is also parallel to this line. So, this is 30. ba? Diba? Okay? Masyado ako marami na bura. So, this is 30. This is 45. If this is a 90 degrees, so this will be how much? Diba that will be 90 degrees? Minus 45. Minus 30 lang. So, ilan yan? So, 75 by 15 degrees. Okay? So, ilan ngayon tong Y? Ito. Okay, ano yung F of Y? So, yung F of Y, dyan, ang F of Y na yan, madali na kompeten yan. Bali, ang F of Y will be 5 kilonewton cosine 15 degrees. So, ilan yan? 5 cosine 15 4.83 kilonewton. So, ang moment dyan at point O and na force ang perpendicular distance is 3. Clockwise rotation pa rin. So, 4.83 kilonewton times 3 it should give us 14.51 no? 4.83 times 3 14.49. So, halos pare-pares lang. 14.49 naman to. Konti lang diferensya, no? Yung isa, 14.5. Ito, 14.51. Ito, 14.49. They almost have the same answer. Okay? Patanggap-tanggap na yan. So, ito yun. So, maraming method in this case, tatlong method yung pinakita ko sa inyo. So, saan kayo komportable? Wala akong problema doon. As long as, tama yung sagot nyo. ba? So, this one also gives us same answer. Okay? ba? Madali lang. Okay? So, ito naman. If you have any questions, uh, paano nyo ba ako matatanong? Uh, mad siguro, pwede kayong mag-ano, no? I-ask nyo ko through yung sa YouTube channel. Okay? Yung comment doon. Okay. I hope, uh, ano, no? Huwag naman kayo mag-bash, no? Hindi naman ako perfecto. Ina-admit ko naman yan. So, ito yung susunod na problem. Ito naman yung point O. Okay. Ngayon, katulad yung sinabi ko kanina, no? Ang moment is force times perpendicular distance. Ngayon, ito. Okay. I'll just draw that here. Didikit lang natin kahit tinan natin kung may didikit ko. Okay. So, pwede nang dikit yan, no? Yan yung force. Ano ang kanyang perpendicular distance? Ito. Given ba? Ito? Hindi natin alam to. So, hindi natin masasolve. Yan. Kanina kasi given. So, yung isang method na gagamitin natin. Okay? Yung Varignan's Theorem. So, hindi po pwede yung unang style, di ba? wala talaga tayong magagawa. Hindi natin alam yung yung ano eh, yung perpendicular distance. Hindi siya given agad. Katulad kanina, given. So, ang gagawin natin, convert natin to sa 
sa component. Okay? So, huwag na nga lang yan. Ang hirap. Ano, no? Pwede ata ito eh. Ito, ito. Huwag na lang. Pwede, ito na lang. Total medyo diretso naman ako mag ano. So, ito. Medyo, medyo lang. Medyo diretso. Ano? Okay? So, ito yung f of x. Ito yung f of y. O nga pala. Doon sa unang problem, scalar lang ginamit natin. Hindi na ako nag-vector. Okay? So, siguro dito tayo mag-vector na lang. Okay? Uh, para hindi na natin babalikan. Dito tayo mag-vector. Nakalimutan ka mag-vector. Pero, sabi nga ng libro, kapag two-dimension, coplanar lang, mas madali kapag scalar uh, analysis kaysa sa vector analysis. Okay. So, yung second method ang gagamitin natin. What is the value of f of x? f of x now will be 400 newton. And this is sine 30 degrees. Okay, mamaya kung pitin ko. Ito naman, ang f of y is what? 400 newton. But this is cosine 30 degrees. So, ilan yan? Kukumpitin ko lang ha. Hindi ko kasi na-compute, ano, hindi ko na napagandaan. 200 to. 200 newton. Ito ilan? 346.41. 346.41 newton. Okay? Uh, let's palitin natin ng konti. Okay, so 346.40, unahin natin yung x, pwede na tayong mag-moment. Given na yung lever arm eh, okay, 0.2 and 0.4. So, moment, solution, summation of moment at 0 0.0 equal to 0, ah, hindi equal to 0, clockwise is positive, wala pa pala tayo sa equilibrium, no? So, equal to what? Pag equilibrium, equal to 0. So, now I'll start with x. This is 200 Newton. Pero ano rotation niya from O? Ito, andito yung point. So, ang ikot niya sa X is ganun, counterclockwise. So, dapat negative. So, negative 200 Newton. Ano lever arm niya? Ito, given. Any perpendicular? 0 0.2. Okay? Itong FY, ang rotation niya is clockwise. So, positive. 346 0.41 times and lever arm niya is 0.4. So, what is the answer? 98.56 kilonewton meter. So, yun yung sagot. Meron pa bang ibang way to solve? Uh, sa nakikita ko, wala na, no? Okay, ito yung scalar. Okay, so, tapos na tayo sa scalar. Uh, Nagpahinga lang ako ng konti, so, uh, kakabalik ko lang. Sa so, scalar, review tayo, no? Sa so, scalar, uh, tatlong method yung pinakita ko sa inyo, ano? Now, dito, sa number 2 problem, pinakamaganda yung method 2, okay? Whatever method kung saan nyo gusto. Ako, ito yan ang pinili ko. Now, after, meron, uh, sa scalar, Yan, yan, no? So, meron pa tayo yung vector. Okay, nakalimutan ko yung vector kanina. Dito na lang, no? So, sa vector, uh, ang equation niya, ganun din, moment, imbis na force times distance, distance times force. Okay? This is important. Okay, pag binaliktad nyo kasi, force times distance, lalabas na, ang tag, lalabas na direction, Imbis na positive ang lalabas ng sagot sa'yo, negative pag binaliktad mo. So, importante yan. Okay? Okay? Tapos, also, sa Pilipinas kasi, sa atin, uh, nadagdagan ko nga pala ito, no? sa atin, ang clockwise sa atin positive. Sa ibang bansa, clockwise negative. Okay? 
So, importante kasi yung rotation. Kapag nagkamali ka ng rotation, nailagay mo counterclockwise, malaking epekto nun sa structure, lalo na kung concrete. Napakalaki niya. For now, hindi nyo muna maintindihan bakit importante yung rotation. No? Pero pagdating nyo sa design, you will see uh, this one is very great import, important. No? Napaka-importante niyan. Okay, but for now, please, kailangan nyo munawaan na importante pati yung rotation. Okay? So, ganun din. Pag positive, going to the right, positive, going to the left, negative. Ganun din yun, no? Lalo na lalo na pagdating sa moment. So, with that, sinasabi ko sa inyo, ganito ang gagawin natin. Okay? So, I, uh, J, K, okay, ganyan, ha? Pinaliktad. Okay? So, ganyan. So, yun ang positive natin. So, ang, ang gagamitin ko is clock method. Okay? So, hindi, ang tawag doon, hindi determinants. So, kung makikita nyo, halos lahat ng book, ayun ko, wala pa ako nakita ng book na clock method eh. Ginagamit nila, ginagamit nila determinants. Ang gagamitin natin clock, kasi para sa akin, mas madali ito. Mas maiksi, mas madali. Para sa akin. Okay? Some might disagree, but ito gusto ko, ituro, dito ako nadadalian, at baka, kung maganda naman ma-explain, mas, ma, mas ma-appreciate nyo din to. Okay? So, for now, iwan muna natin to. Okay? Recall natin ngayon, sa vector, that yung 98.58, tandaan nyo yung sagot, ha? positive clockwise. Okay? So, dito, ano nga uli yung force? Okay? Yung force, dito, okay, ano yung x? Okay, yung x, yan. It's 400. Dito ko na lang muna lalagay. Force. Yung x muna, it's 200, positive, i, minus, kasi pababa, di ba? Pababa. That is 346.41 J. And the unit is in Newton. Okay, so ano ngayon yung R? Okay, this one. Yung R, di ba force times distance? So perpendicular distance ng X. So ano uli yun? Uh -huh. Ano yung X distance? This one. Ito. Okay. 0.4. Ito. So, ano yung y? 0.2. Pero yung 0.4 positive kasi yung reference point natin, no? Going positive x direction ito, negative direction going down. Okay? So, ano yung x? Tama. 0.4. Okay? So, positive 0.4 i minus 0.2 J at ang unit is meters. So, i-add lang natin. Ay, mumultiply ngayon natin yan. Okay? So, itatabi ko lang to Buburahin ko na lang muna. Dito ko lalagay para hindi siya istorbo. So, I J K Okay? Kailangan natin to Dinodrawing ko kasi parang hindi ako nalilito. Bakit? Tinan nyo ha. Ibang multiply natin. So, yung R is this one, 0.4 minus 0.2 times the force, 200I minus 346.41J. Okay. Abante ko lang ng konti. So, yun na lang kailangan natin. No? So, mamaya to, may problem pa tayo sa mamaya. Baka muna, hindi muna kita kailangan. Dito muna. Mas parang sakit na, hindi kita kailangan. Hindi, babalikan kita. Okay. So, 
Yung natutunan natin, i-multiply lang natin. Katulad ng algebra lang yan. Ito muna. Ito. This one times this one. Okay? Titignan nyo ha. Basta pag parehas na i, that will be 0. So, i times i would be 0. Kasi dito, i times k will be positive j. Ayan, no? So, pag i times i, 0. Kaya gusto ko itong clock method, eh. Automatic, mabilis, no? So, this will be 0. Kasi i times i. Next, ito. That's i times j. i times j. Tignan yung rotation. Kumontra. So, that will be negative. Okay? So, negative. Yun. So, yung muna, <coughs> i times j negative. <coughs> Tapos, point for i times negative. Pwede ganito na lang. No? Ganito na lang. Para nakakalito yung mga may x pa. So, ganito. Point for i times negative 346.41 ah uh, j okay okay oh, sorry for that narinig nyo ba yung digay ko mm. next <clears throat> ito okay ah uh, j to i j to i positive Ayan na akong positive. Okay? Tapos, ngayon lang, negative 0.2j times uh, ano na yan? 200i. Okay? Tapos, yung natitira, ito, j times j, di 0, plus Zero. Okay. So, yun na. So, kumpitin natin 0.4 times ilan? Uh, 3, 4, 6.41. Ilan? So, negative, negative will be positive 1, 3, 8.56 i times j is k. Okay? Tapos ito, 0. 0.2 times 200 will be 40. So, negative 40. I, j times i or r times j is still k. Okay. So, ano sagot? So, 138.56 minus 40. We have the same answer. 98.56. So, positive 98.56 Okay. So, yan ang sagot. Tapos, nalagyan natin kilonewton. Tama ba? Kilonewton meter o newton meter? Palimutan ko lang. Oh, newton. So, so it's newton meter. So, tignan nyo. Parehas tayo ng oh, ayaw ah. Yan naman. Okay. So, newton meter. Hindi ko alam kung anong moment at o, no? Anong mas madali sa inyo? Okay? Uh, para sa akin kasi dumali ito dahil hindi natin ginamita ng determinants, eh. Pag determinants kasi napakahaba niyan. Okay? Napakahaba niyan. Uh, hindi ko na gusto i-discuss yan, eh. Ang, ang haba kasi pag determinants. Pag clock method, mas madali. Okay? So, pero tinan nyo, ang solution dito is halos 2 lines lang sa scalar. No? Tapos agad. Pero pag vector, mahaba. No? This is prone to error kasi. Uh, in a way, madali siya. In a way, prone to error naman. So, it's up to you kung anong gusto nyo method, no? Pero ako, scalar pa rin ako. Pero pagdating sa 3D, mas madali ang vector. Mahaba pero mas madali. <clears throat> Kasi yung hirap i-visualize pag scalar. Okay. Uh, next problem. This one. Determine natin yung resultant ulit. Using scalar na lang tayo. I'll leave this one to you to answer this in 
vector. Okay? Kasi medyo mahaba. So, solution tayo using scalar. Okay? Moment. Summation of moment at O. Clockwise. Positive. Okay, let's begin with this one. Pisaan natin dito sa 50. Ito yung O. Rotation niya pa ba nun? Okay? So, ano rotation niya? Positive. So, positive. 50 Newton times 2 meters. Okay? Dali lang. How about this? 60. Zero yan. Diba? Ayan o. Passes through the point. So, ba't naglagay pa yan? So, hindi ko na yung sasama yan. Pwede rin dito. Plus 60 times 0. Okay? Pero hindi ko na lalagay, ha? Naintindihan, hindi nakasama. Next. This one. 20. Or 20. Medyo maarte, no? Okay. Ngayon, ang tanong, ano rotation niya? From here, iikot siya doon. So, negative, di ba? So, negative. 20. 20. Times. Ano lever arm? Ano lever arm ni 20? Ito. This one. Ilan to? Parang hindi nakalagay. Hmm, kukumpitin pa natin. Okay? So, tinan natin ha. Kailangan mag-view ng malaki. Ano ang distance niyan? So, ito. Hinirapan tayo. Ngayon ko lang din sa solving to. Madali lang naman kasi. Okay? Saburahin ko to. Itong distance niya. Kaya lang, it's a triangle. Ngayon, may 30 degrees. So, ilan to? That will be 60 sine... Ah, hindi. 60, hindi. This, this one. 3 sine 30 degrees, di ba? So, yun ha? That's 3 sine 30 degrees. Sorry. Ayan. Okay, hindi naman siguro kayo nalito. So, ang lever arm nyan, this one, ito, is 3, times, sine, cosine, sine, 30 degrees. Hindi na kasya. So, ito, ano naman itong 40, anong rotation nya? Clockwise naman. So, plus 40 newton times Ah, uh, ilan yung length niyan? Kukumpit ka magmula dito hanggang dito, ilan? This is 2 plus 2, 4 plus 3 cosine 30 degrees, di ba? So, madali lang. So, 4 plus 3 cosine 30 degrees. So, ang moment natin, ilan? Kumpitin natin. So, 50 times 2, 100. Minus 20. Ano na? Times 3. Sine 30 degrees. Tapos plus 40. Times 24 plus 3. Cosine 30 degrees. Ang sagot is 300 positive, no? Tam pare pa tayo tayong nagsagot 333.92 uh, newton meter and clockwise so yun ang final answer natin so pag vector yan medyo mahaba okay pag vector medyo mahaba so uh, sagutan pa ba natin sagutin ko yung force kayo na sa ano ha okay so tapusin nyo. Paano matuto naman kayo? Yung force, ito, 50, uh, ano yan? Exactum going down. Anayin muna natin. So, uh, 0, I, minus 50, J. 
Ano ito? Plus. Ito. Uh, so, for yan eh, kailangan natin. No? So, 60 uh, I plus 0 J. Next. Okay. Um, ano natin, palitin lang natin. Para kasha. Okay. Wala sa plano ko itong magsolve eh. Next, itong 20 naman. Itong 20. So, ano yung 20? Puro ano din, no? Positive. Ano naman? 20i plus 0j plus 0i minus 40j. So, yan. Add nyo lang yan. Uh, ito muna. So, 60, 80, I, minus, 90, J. So, kayo naman doon sa R. And then, moment, is equal to R times F. Okay? Kaya nyo na yan. Practice makes perfect. Okay? Lalo na sa static of rigid bodies, solve lang kayo ng solve para ma-master nyo. Okay, that's it. Ulit-ulitin uh, nyo lang to, no? Maintindihan nyo. Ang pinaka-importante dito sa vector, balik kung babalikan natin, balikan na, abang kung nandito pa kayo, hindi nyo pa pinapatay yung, yung YouTube, no? Uh, eto, ang kailangan nyo tandaan. This one. Uh, tatandaan yan. Para mapapadali ang buhay nyo, imbis na determinants. No? It's i uh, kj or ijk pa gano'n, no? Pero ang rotation natin, ang clockwise is positive. Okay? So, i times k, pag ganyan, i times k, uh, then that will be j. So, k times j will be equal to i, j times i will be equal to k. Pag paliktad, k times i, negative j. i times j, negative k, J times K, negative R. Okay? Ito, kailangan nyo lang, ito lang kailangan nyo tandaan at mapapadali ang buhay natin kaysa mag-determinants tayo. Ang tagal ng determinants, lalo na pag uh, kung naalala nyo yung topic nyo sa advanced math, yung ano, no? Determinants. Okay? Matrix na ko, ayoko din nun. Okay? So, ito, para mas mabili ang buhay natin. At napatunayan ko naman, tama yung sagot ito, parehas 98.56 clockwise positive, 98.56 positive, meaning clockwise yung rotation. Okay? Thank you so much!